let's just start with the question of taking the notes. So when you're in a meeting in Teams, you certainly can take notes through OneNote, but that does mean, um, now, depending on where this meeting is, if this meeting is within your channel, that means you have a OneNote notebook available to you in your channel. If this meeting is in a chat, then that means you have a OneNote app open, like a tab at the top, uh, available to you that you can record information in. So let's say it's in the channel. Uh, I actually am in a channel. I'm in my class uh, team, if you can see on the left here, and the general channel. So if I go here, I can hit the plus sign and then I can connect to a notebook this way. And this is a one-time thing. I don't have to connect to the notebook once and then it's connected therein, um, there and after to this channel. So let's say it's a class notebook is what I wanna to connect to. That's the one that comes with this team. If it's something different, you see I have other notebooks here, I can choose any of these other ones that already exist to connect to within my teams. Just make sure it makes sense for who you're sharing the team with that they would also then share that notebook with you because that's what's gonna happen. All right, so then I have my OneNote here on the side and I can take my notes for the meeting. So that's one way, if you're used to using OneNote, then this is certainly the way you can continue going. And just know that you have your team meeting happening here. So I can make this window a little bit smaller and I can make my other window for Teams a little bit smaller so that I can then capture my notes for the meeting. Let's make that smaller. Capture my notes for the meeting while the meeting's happening. So, or maybe if I have two monitors and I would put each of these windows on separate monitors. So that's your op first option. So let's talk about the other option you have for meeting notes. And this is really the one that Teams encourages you to use. You can have your meeting notes attached to the meeting, which really then attaches to wherever that meeting is being held, whether it's held in a channel or held in a chat. Now those meeting notes will be kept there for you. So if I go to the three dots here, meeting notes is an option. This is not one note. This is a separate separate app kind of within the meetings. I don't even I don't even want to call it an app because it's not really a separate thing that I can just go to by itself. Okay, and so from here I would take notes and then this left right side of the screen would be where I'd be typing my notes all along. And as soon as I'm done the meeting, I can then look at these notes after the fact um, on in that channel or by even clicking back on that meeting again if I want to. There's various ways to get to it. So I'll refer you to another video to look at that. Now let's talk about another difference with Skype and with Teams, and that's the idea of attendance. So attendance can be recorded within Teams. The big determining factor here though is that you have to take the attendance while the meeting's still active. You cannot get an attendance sheet after you've left the meeting. So that's the big thing. So you have to decide when do I take attendance because it becomes a downloadable CSV for you. Um, do I take the attendance right away or do I wait for people to kind of to, to join me if a few of them are late and then take attendance halfway through or do I take attendance at the very end? Um, and so taking attendance just means that you are downloading the attendance information from that meeting at that point in time. So to find the attendance information, you simply need to go to show participants and from show participants you want to go to the three dots which is your menu there and choose to download attendance list so if i click on that at the bottom here you see it's downloading so at that point in time whoever's in your meeting they're going to appear on this attendance list all right, so hopefully that helps you see a couple of the differences. Attendance is an option, notes are an option. It works a bit differently than Skype. Some of it's built in more, um, but there are a few other options that you need to know about so this works effectively for you. All right, thanks.